felt like a frustrating night, uh, primarily on the defensive end in that third quarter. Just what were your takeaways from uh, recording in progress? Much? Yeah, definitely the the third and the fourth, or mostly the third quarter is kind of where we lost the game. Um, I just thought our defensive rotations were bad. Like we were good in the in the first rotation, but the second rotation was just never there. And you know, when you give up that many points in the second half, it's gonna be hard to win. So. Uh, yeah, Caitlin, what kind of happened in the uh, second quarter with the, with the double technical? It seemed like you and Victoria were kind of jawing at each other after that made three. Yeah, two competitive people and had us with the double tech. Honestly, that's about it. <coughs> well, so why do you feel like this team's defense hasn't clicked in the way you want it yet this season? Um, well, if I knew why, we would probably figure it out. <laughs> so... I mean, I, like she said, it's just about making that extra effort to rotate, you know. Just, just it sounds simple, but just taking pride in defense and, you know, guarding your man, helping on help side, you know, controlling things that you can control, like back cuts and, like, getting over screens, talking more. So, i say just that. Uh, Caitlin, you kind of said um, just that you and Victoria kind of got into it just because of the competitive nature that you have. Um, Seems like just right out of the gate, even as a rookie, like you've came in and kept the same competitive nature that you had in college. I mean, was that, how, how does that happen and how do you find that switch where you're just as competitive as you are? Yeah, I think just being competitive is who I am. It's what I've done my whole career. Um, I think at times there's, a little, there's like ways I can probably channel it a little bit better, but that's just basketball at the end of the day. Um, no, that's not real. That's not going to change. I'm never going to lose that. I feel like I'm getting hammered. Um, I don't know. I appreciate Christy getting a tech too. Like, I, I don't know. Yeah, and you said that you feel like you can channel it a little bit better. Um, are Are you ever ever able to channel your frustration into competitiveness? I mean, how does that correlate? I think that's what I try to do every single time. Um, is like those moments like you just want to turn into a competitive fire and go out there and play and, and you know that's my goal. George, I uh, know that's you return to the starting lineup today, get your thousandth career point. Uh, can you just talk about those two uh, things happening? Uh, yeah, I mean it's a blessing to reach a thousand points in three years. You know I don't take this game for granted, so every time I'm on the floor. I'm gonna give everything I got. So I mean, our goal is to win here, man. I'm just, you know, so ready to win. You know, it's not a good feeling just losing all these games. We have so much talent in this room. So I don't know. Just, just ready to get back to winning. Yeah, Caitlin. In the first half, it it, it kind of seemed like it was your most discipline performance. Um, I guess it's the way to put it, you know, not turning the ball over shot selection, getting to the basket. Um, how do you think that your first half shaped up to, you know, all the games prior and in, in your performance? Yeah, I thought I played a good first half. Um, you know, I think really at my two turnovers, I only felt like a couple of them were bad. Like, there's still like a few in transition that are, you know, I'm willing to take the risk there. Um, but other than that, like shot the ball well, took good shots. Um, I feel like my shot selection all year has been really good. I felt like my shot selection in the second half was really good. There were shots that didn't go down. A couple of threes that I usually make, a couple of layups that I usually make. Um, yeah, I mean, it would have been nice to make a few more baskets, but that's basketball, that's how it goes. Take care of the ball a little bit better. Um, you know, I don't know, it was, it was nice to see Lou get going there in the second half too, so. The more we can do that, it's not really about offense. It's, it was our defense. The offense was fine. We scored 88 points, but we're not going to win a basketball game giving up 103. So. Oh. Yeah, um, Nalissa, you mentioned you wanted to get back to winning. Is, do you think the issues are kind of like chemistry with not being together for very long or defense or just like a combination of everything? Defense. That's it. It's just defense. I feel like our chemistry is there. I mean, play well offensively. Like she said, we can score with anybody in this league. It's just about our defense. Finish off the ball. Tyler. 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 Tyler.
Okay. And he played all but four seconds. Mm -hmm. Was that surprising to you? And do you think Coach Sides was just, was trying to send a message? I don't think to she was trying team. to send a message. I'm not sure what message exactly you'd be referring to, but I mean, it wasn't surprising. I think you know it's kind of what this team needed. Um, I felt like I might have got a little bit winded there in the second half, so I need to be able to find a second gear to kick into um, to help this team win a little bit better. I thought I got a little lackadaisical on defense. Kind of got caught breathing and standing a few times. Um, wasn't moving as crisp on offense, so I think that'll you know come. You know, <laughs> we're playing so many games and you know getting a little beat up and then playing 40 minutes on top of that, it can be hard at times. But you know, I'm still lucky. Like I wouldn't, I wouldn't change it for the world. So you know. Kyle, uh, last one. Yeah. And I guess just like on a bit of a lighter note, Caitlin. Like I feel like there's a side of you that people might not see like before the game you're kind of playing around with assistant coaches kids uh, mm -hmm. see I don't, I don't know if you saw but there was a sign in the crowd that said there was somebody who traveled from utah to come watch you play like what does that mean to you and do you kind of still keep that in perspective amidst, amidst the frustration mm, absolutely and like at the end of the day like that's that's why you play basketball like sure the wins are great all that is great but the way the game has changed over the you know course of my career whether it's college and now coming here and like you look around at all these young girls like they're coming to these games and then you know even after the game we lose by you know however many points but they're like still the happiest young girls in the world like couldn't be more thrilled that they're here um, with their families and with their parents or with whoever brought them and um, they could care less how much we won by or you know how many points I scored or whatever it was like for them it's like just the experience and seeing us play like that's that's the coolest thing to me so i appreciate you asking and um you know i hope our fans continue to continue like continue to come back because like this team is really fun to watch i don't think we're really showing the our full product yet and it's just a work in progress we're young we're inexperienced and i know we sound like a broken record saying that but like it's true and you know we did some good things we won the second quarter we were only down what six at halftime and then it really gets away with from us on the third so I won the fourth but you know this league is that good where you have one bad spurt and it's over and that seems like it's been the case for us in a lot of these games that we've lost. Christy why do you feel like the defense hasn't clicked the way you wanted to yet this season? I just think we've not had the practice time that has a lot to do with it. Um, Under three points, it's just too many. Gotta get back, gotta find some time in practice to get back to just our shell defense. Um, just working on, you know, we gotta be in help side, then we gotta help number. That was one of the things we talked about in the game. Caitlin talked about similar to those with the rotations, especially in that third quarter. What to you thematically has been the issues on that end so far this year? Yeah, just, you know, we just gotta pull over. I mean, is wherever the ball is, if you just go in the direction of the ball and pass, or you just stay at the level of the ball, like that puts you in a much better position. So we just gotta get back and work on it. Yeah, just, I didn't kind of mention it, but what would you say kind of went wrong specifically in the third quarter on defense with them scoring 34? I think we have to do a better job of just keeping the ball in front of us. I think if we do that, then we're not needing so much help. I think we've got a, we're a no middle team. And we just give up a lot of dribble penetration to the middle. So we got to do better, get our feet right. We got to send it to the weight, to the sideline. Um, keep it on the on one side of the floor and not let them see everything in the middle. Um, Caitlin said that she feels like sometimes she could better channel her frustration um, on the court. How are you kind of going about helping her do that in a more positive way? Um, she's a competitor. I love her fire. I, you know, I just, we've just got to get better with the officiating. We've got to get some of those calls. I feel like they're getting some calls or that's happening on our end as well. And I just don't like we're getting some of those. Yeah. And you said the other night that let me get the technicals. And obviously tonight that happened. Um, what is this? team mean to you? I mean, even despite the record, it seems like you really, really care about this team and these players in general. Listen, I took this job last year and they won five games. And we built a strong culture here 
that I'm so proud of. And you have to keep getting better, right? Like we don't want to settle for 13 wins. So now we've got to add players, right? And we've got a great player in Kaylin Clark. We've got a great player in Timmy. We've got a great player in Katie Lou. So now things do change, right? When you get those new players. So then we come to camp and we have just a few days to get ready for our first game. And then we played more games than anybody without the practice, playing against the best teams in the league. Like I, I'm, I'm so proud of their fight. They keep coming back. I'm so proud of what they do. I've been, you know, Melissa Smith, you know, I took her out of the starting lineup. She's never done anything but come back with, I'm gonna do my job. You know, Caitlin's learning, she's fighting, she gets, you know, the whole 40 minutes, she's in the game. On both ends, she's getting beat up. She keeps fighting. I've got some great people in my locker room. We're gonna keep fighting. We're gonna keep fighting and it's gonna click and it's gonna, it's, we're gonna get there. But it doesn't happen overnight. Chris, to the point of acknowledging the schedule, how do you strike a balance with instilling what more you need to see with the girls with at the same time of understanding you do need just some practice time and get to next week? Yeah, you, don't, you can't really harp on it because you, you just don't have that practice time, so you just gotta get to the next. You know, we gotta get to the next game. You know, we fell short against LA the other night. That was a game, you know, that, that one hurt. Um, tonight, I mean, you give up 55 points in the paint. Like that, that, like that's just keeping winning your individual battle. And we're gonna get there, we're gonna get better, we're gonna get back to working on our shell defense. Um, and we have that opportunity starting out, you know, we have Chicago, but then we have that opportunity next week to have a few days of practice. Kelsey. Coach Katie Lou kind of got hot from three in the second half. Just how encouraging or promising was that to see her shot fall? Yeah, she she is so hard on herself. She is, I mean, she missed, she doesn't expect to miss, and I love that. Um, but I was really happy that she was able to get a field tonight. Um, you know, Katie Lou is, you know, she just had a baby, and she's trying to figure it out and get her body back and get her shot back and get the feel and the touch with a new team. Um, and, and it's coming, and she's working her ass off to get there. Um, they're all working to get there. They're all working to get there by, you know, in a really tough, tough situation. Uh, these two teams, the Sparks and, and the Storm, where you beat the Sparks last week, you beat, or you were close with the Storm this week. What's been the difference this week in these two games? Has it been the defense from those two games on the road? Yeah, I think, you know, we've, we're putting up 85 plus points. You know, that's enough to win games. We just gotta find a way to get stops. Yeah, what was kind of going through your mind uh, when you got the technical? Um, it just kind of seemed like things that maybe reached a boiling point. Yeah, I just I just feel like we need to get the same calls that are happening on the other end. I don't think um, we're, we're getting some touch calls that, you know, they can go either way. And, you know, my, our players are trying to drive. Our, our object is to get to the rim, try to get to the free throw line. We're just not getting those same ones, I don't think. So, you know, they're frustrated, but, I, you know, I'm going to fight like hell for them. So that's, you know, I was just trying to get them going, get them fired up. I don't know that I'm fighting for them. Yes. We've got one more from Bob in the corner. Just go ahead, Bob. We'll do it without the mic. Mm. <laughs> Christy, uh, you played most of your starters the entire game, and I wondered what the thought process was behind that. I know you're, you got to within 14, but it was in the 20s most of the second half. Just trying to get these guys some minutes together. Just trying to, that's the only time I get to have to get them to, you know, is in games right now. So that's, that was that thought.